Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle for those of you who are new. Welcome and thanks for clicking on this video. So in today's video I'm showing you the ways in which I style some knee-high boots from NAKD. These are the leather shaft boots. Some plain black leather boots that are pretty low heel, kind of a block heel. And I actually got this boot from Samantha Maria or at least I saw it in her haul. I like the way it looked. It seemed like a decent price and it seemed like a decent heel height. So I decided to get it. It came and I was really excited to style it and I wanted to share the ways I style the shoe with you. So in this first look, I'm wearing an oversized sweater that I bought from H&M last year. I love this sweater and I've been waiting a whole year to be able to wear it again. I thought this was a good opportunity to wear it in a very minimal way. And I thought that wearing it with some leather boots would have been perfect for styling it. So I paired it with my light color jeans that I showed you in my previous haul from H&M and then I wore my boots over it. So what I like about this look, it's kind of baggy and slouchy a little bit. It's not all tight and fit to my body. The jeans are kind of straight leg. It's a mom jeans, so it's a little bit crinkly in the boot. The boot is a little bit crinkly. And then I have the oversized shirt. I went ahead and tucked it in this outfit because I like breaking up my body proportions. I found that that looks best with my body type. So I tucked it into my jeans and it was just a really fun minimal look. It felt very 90s. I threw on an oversized trench coat in a khaki color. I love this trench coat. I wanna say I also got it from NAKD. I don't wear it much because it is pretty oversized and very, very long and I'm a bit short, but I do like how trendy it is. So I saw this was a good opportunity to wear it because I was wearing heels and so it lifted me up off the ground and so it wasn't so long. And I like the colors. I chose to wear it with my shoulder bag from Mango. It's a faux suede, plain, kind of minimal shoulder bag also to go with the whole minimal look. And uh, that was the look. So for my next look, I chose to go with quite formal, a little bit opposite of the other one. And so in this one, I'm wearing my white shirt from Oak and Forth that I also showed you in a previous haul. Guys, I'm putting my things to use. And uh, for my bottoms, I'm wearing a wrap style midi skirt from Kiana. I don't wear the skirt much because it is pretty formal and long and I mostly wear it to occasions and things like that. So I was really happy and excited to start wearing this again, especially knowing that midi skirts are trending again. And of course, I style that with my boots. I think it's the length of the skirt, the midi skirt, works really well with knee-high boots. I love that that's also a trending look. It's very flattering, I feel like, and it, it just gives a really cool look. Along with the skirt from Kiana, I, I also chose to wear my tote bag that's also from Kiana. It's a nice kind of gray, mauve color. It looks really good with neutral, kind of muted looks. Very minimal, very clean style of a bag. And it's, it's really my favorite bag. Unfortunately, a tragedy happened, but I took care of it. So I'm back wearing that bag again. I'm really happy about it. To bring back the kind of contrast with the black, I wore my sunglasses that I don't know where I got it from, but they're this squared thick frame glasses that I really like playing with sometimes. And it's really fun because I feel like it's more of a trend based item, which I don't tend to buy much of, but um, this was definitely intention of, of playing with the trends a little bit, which I'm really excited about. To add a little bit more, I also threw my NAKD oversized coat on top of this look as well. I really like how the colors of the jacket match perfectly with the color of the bag. So I threw this on to kind of add that edgy look to it and um, kind of bring down that formal look. I think it did a really good job of that, but honestly, I love the formal look on its own anyways, but I did want to give some options for the sake of this video. This next look was definitely work inspired. It's pretty professional looking and kind of plain, but I did want to throw in something that was a little bit more wearable for those who aren't necessarily interested in going with a, a too trendy, too out there outfit. So what I wore were my trousers that I got from Oak and Fort. I wore a mock neck top, which is the one that I'm wearing now. I don't remember where it's from, but I'll probably link it down somewhere or something similar. And then I wore a blazer that's also in the same tone. So I kept it very monochromatic. I didn't want to go for very trendy silhouettes or anything too out there again. I was trying to keep it very, very easy to wear. So I went with all browns, uh, different, different shades of browns. I decided to wear my bag that's from JWPEI, something like that. It's a brown croc emboss bag that I really love. And then of course I'm wearing my boots underneath my wide leg trousers. And you can hardly tell that there are boots underneath, so I really like it. And I like that it's elevated, it's a heel. It kind of makes the outfit look a little bit more feminine and nice just having that raised up look. So but for this next look, I decided to go for something kind of edgy and kind of boyish a little bit. 
So I'm just gonna break it down. And again, if you see my eyes go that way, my laptop is here, I think it's in the frame. I don't just memorize these looks and just come up with it. Unfortunately, it's just not as planned. So please don't mind if I end up wearing it that way. So again, I'm wearing this shirt that I that I got from, I wanna say it was Oakenfort. I, I, I'm pretty sure this top is from Oakenfort. It's a turtleneck or mock neck top. I'm wearing my cost vest that I got a few weeks ago that I showed you also in a previous haul. I wanted to kind of have that combative style, almost like a police officer is really what I was thinking. I don't, I don't know if that is translating well. Then I wore my oversized jeans that I got from, I want to say Mango. And then I wore the boots on top of the jeans and it was a very baggy look. Looking at it now, this is not something that I typically would wear. I was really just trying to come up with different styles that I thought were kind of fun, try some things that were different. And then for my bag, I wore the same bag, the Kiana bag that I mentioned previously, the mauve tote bag, which paired nicely with the brown of my top. And then to bring it all together, I threw on a blazer, the one that I mentioned previously from H&M. Kind of like a houndstooth pattern when you look very closely, but from far away, it kind of looks like a khaki green or gray a little bit. And I really like that kind of muted, neutral look. It really, it really works well with a lot of looks. And I think, I think it worked well with this look. So this last look is probably my favorite just because it's one that I would most likely wear. It's the most classic looking outfit and you guys know I like my classic outfits and I like my uniform looking outfits. So here I wore an oversized shirt from Zara, my tennis skirt from Abercrombie, and then I wore a shacket, a leather shacket from Aritzia. I threw on that brown bag from JWPEI again to kind of blend with the shacket. I really like playing with neutral colors like brown and, and kind of matching them together. I threw on my square frame glasses again, still add a little bit of edge and to kind of tie in the black here with my boots. And then I also went for my vest from Cost that I showed you in my previous haul. I like this part of the look because again, I'm going for that uniform look again. I, I really just, there's something about just a uniform look that I love so much. So here we kind of have multiple outfits. We have the look of just the white shirt and the skirt. Then we have the white shirt, skirt, and vest. Then we have the white shirt, skirt, vest, and shacket. Or we have the white shirt, skirt, and shacket on its own. So I'm giving you multiple looks here. And again, as I mentioned, it's definitely my favorite look because again, it's very versatile. You can kind of mix this up a lot with different things and play with it, but then also you can kind of commit to the uniform look that I love so much. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to check the description box. If you are interested in anything there, you will find the links down below. I'll do my best to find exact items, but if I can't, I will do my best to find something very similar. Shoot me a comment if there was anything that you liked particular in this of these looks, anything that was a favorite of yours, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.